everyone. Welcome back. Yes, 2020 is almost over. Ha! How exciting. Hopefully next year won't be nearly as interesting um, as this year. And I feel like interesting is the word to describe 2020, other than dumpster fire pile of trash. Yeah. But, needless to say, I have stayed in the 18th century, and I'm just having a really fun time doing research and picking out which outfits I'm going to make next. So, needless to say, I'm going to be working on something probably a little bit easier just to get my mind off of things. And that project is an 18th century English style Morocco jacket. So, kicking off in mid 18th century France, during the same time where there was a lot of uh, popularity going towards the provincial uh, chemise à la reine, very country shepherdess, milkmaid sort of style of dress, the Caraco jacket was primarily influenced by the working class of that time period. And so it really only made sense that the elite in France would uh, incorporate another style of dress into their everyday wardrobe. And the main fabrics that were primarily used for this style of jacket was linens and cottons. But today, I'm making my jacket out of plastic. <sighs> Don't yell at me. But waste not what not, I had a autumnal tablecloth that I wanted to use and get out of my stash. And what better way than to use that tablecloth to make a jacket. The lining I decided to use is like a really nice gold brocade, I guess, but it's also a tablecloth. So this is like the tablecloth. And I decided to make a nice little shawl to go on top, so it kind of has that outlander sort of vibe. The pattern is completely self-drafted, which I will post here somewhere, one of these sides. But with that said, let's jump into the video because I am tired of talking, so let's go. Okay, so I was just about to get a little bit carried away with myself. I got all of the main pieces cut out that we, the way that we would need them, but I think I decided because this fabric is very light and a little bit flimsy, I decided that I needed to actually have a liner for it. So I have this, uh, I'll take it to the light so you can actually see it. So it's kind of this yellowy gold color, but it's not as bright as it looks on camera. And I decided this is going to be the liner. So get the pattern pieces cut out and then we'll start sewing together and then tacking things into place. All right, so we're at the point where the lining is all cut out and I still kind of want to have a little bit of structure and a little bit of stability added to at least the front pieces here and that's really all I care about. So what I decided to do is I'm going to put this bias tape uh, kind of going at like a nice little angle, like probably just like this, maybe two on each side just to give it a little bit of structure. And I'm going to use some of my zip ties to kind of make the bones. So, let's do that.
So the boning is finished and it's nice and stiff. And now I've just been sort of draping and just trying to figure out how I will get that nice little shape at the front. From what I've researched on Pinterest and just looking at pictures, um, a lot of like the folding and pleating on the jackets itself, they're all really different. And so I kind of went off of one that I found that was really nice. And of course I've only done this front panel piece, but yeah, I really like how it looks. So I think I'm just going to hand tack these down. So it's been a couple, I hate to say it, it's been a couple days. <laughs> so meeting this deadline has not exactly gone to plan, but here's how it's looking right now. It looks really great. And you know, I really wanted to make something that would go with this kind of burnt umber sort of shawl that I crocheted. Uh, kind of bring in a little bit of like an outlander sort of feel. It looks really good without the rump underneath, um, which I think would be fine because I wouldn't really necessarily need it. And here's the back. And all I did was, uh, since there was still quite a lot of room and space for things to be um, tailored to fit the shape right, um, I just folded over uh, the lining and this uh, fashion fabric, folded it over, pinned it so it's nice and pleated. I hadn't cut anything. So it's got kind of like a 17th century sort of construction, top stitched down just so that the pleats would stay in place. It's nice and full. And I actually ended up needing to add just a little panel here. And now I'm just working on the hem as well as the shoulders and sleeves. This is how it looks so far. Looks really good.